So let's see how to do the coding for using the strategy design pattern in this case, which will allow us to take the vault of code out of our vehicle class and put it into what are called algorithm objects and use those algorithm objects instead and this avoids having to have you maintain code over various generations of inherited classes. So we're going to start off by creating the algorithm objects that will contain the vault of code. Now remember all we're doing here is we are creating these algorithm objects and separating the, the volatile code outside of the vehicle class and the idea is to have a has a relationship with the volatile code rather than a is a relationship that's the whole inspiration here you start off with the by creating an interface for all the algorithm objects to make sure that they they create a go method so this they're going to all implement this interface called go algorithm and it's going to have a go method inside it for example we can have a, a algorithm called go by driving algorithm. This implements the go algorithm interface, which means it has to have a go method. And in this case, it's going to say, now I'm driving. So the go by driving algorithm is our first one, is now I'm driving. And as you know, they're going to have, we're going to use a helicopter object as well. And so we're going to create another algorithm called go by flying. And this also implements go, the go algorithm. So it has a go method and it says, now I'm flying, so that's going to be appropriate for the helicopter. And then there's going to be a go by flying fast algorithm, which implements go algorithm as well. And this is going to be appropriate for the jet. And it's also going to have a go method, which it has to have. And this one's going to say, now I'm flying fast. So as you see, we're separating the changeable code outside of the vehicle class. Here's the vehicle class, and we're going to have to change it by adding a method called set go algorithm. And I'm going to pass it a go algorithm object like this. It's going to store the algorithm object in a variable called, a private variable called go algorithm. Okay, so when the vehicle is created, the vehicle object is created, we're going to store the algorithm object inside this private variable called go algorithm. Currently, the vehicle class has a very unchangeable go method that just says, now I'm driving. That's going to have to change as well in order to use our algorithms. And so you're going to rewrite the go method in order to use the go algorithms go method. So you see what happens is when you create a vehicle, you're going to pass the algorithm, the go algorithm, to this set go algorithm method. And then we're going to say, store the, the algorithm in this go algorithm object, this go algorithm variable, and then going to, when the code executes the objects, the vehicle objects go method, we're going to use the go algorithms go method, in fact. Okay, so now we have to create our different vehicles. This is the street racer, and when you create the street racer, it, it extends the vehicle class, and so you can use the set go algorithm method, you say set go algorithm, and the, this is in the constructor notice, set go algorithm, new go by driving algorithm. So this is going to be able to print out, now I'm driving. Same thing for the Formula One racer, also extends vehicle and has a, a public constructor, and you set call the, the vehicle classes set go algorithm method here, and you create a new go by driving algorithm object. The Helicopter class also extends vehicle, has a public constructor, and we'll call the vehicle classes set go algorithm method. But in this case, it's going to create a new go by flying algorithm object. It's going to print out now I'm flying. Finally, the jet is also going to extend the jet object is also going to extend vehicle. And in the constructor, the public constructor, you type you use the set go algorithms call to set the algorithm to go by flying fast algorithm. This will print out, now I'm flying fast for jets. So as you see, the idea is you can customize each class, helicopter, jet, street racer, and so forth, by using a different algorithm when you create the object. This allows you to separate out the changeable code from using a changeable code over generations of inheritance to using external algorithm objects. That is the strategy design pattern at work. And next we're going to see it, see our code actually executing and confirm that it does what we want it to do.